Hello, this is Andy with Automated Marketer. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add custom fonts to your funnel in high level. Let's get started. In this video, we'll be going over how to add a custom font into a funnel. So the first thing we gotta work on is the actual funnel. So I'm gonna just go into my funnel right here. I'm working on a book funnel template and I don't wanna use the funnel that is already included. Believe it or not, even though there are tons and tons of different fonts, all the Google fonts you can think of inside of high level. In particular, there's sometimes a client will want to add a custom font. So we already have the custom font. The custom font is called Carino Sans. And we want to use that one instead of all the other fonts that Google provides for us. So it's actually not that hard of a thing to do. It seems like it's hard, but it's actually not too bad. The first thing that we need to do is we actually need to get the font file. Now, you can't just use a regular font file. You can't use the TTF font file, you need to use what's called the WOFF2 file. That's a different version, but a lot of times you can't find those online. So conveniently, we go to a site called Cloud Convert, cloudconvert.com, and they have this great converter that will take a TTF and turn it into a WOFF2. And all we gotta do is select the file and upload it. So first we would find the file for the client, after we do that, we would grab it from our computer. And we're just gonna grab it right here. We're gonna be using the regular version of the font here. We double click on it and we hit convert. And as you can see, it processed the file. Then all we gotta do is hit download and the file's ready for us to use inside of Go High Level. Now there is a small issue. You can't just upload it into the media library on your Go High Level account. It won't take it. So for instance, I'm gonna click open. I'm gonna try to upload the file I just downloaded. I get this file type not allowed, but there's a sneaky way to do it. And it's a little bit of a secret way of doing it. All you gotta do is go into the membership area of your high level account. You're gonna create a new product. You're gonna click create product. You're gonna build your own and you're just gonna call it my fonts. So it's almost a course just built out of fonts. You go to your first blank post over here. You click on add files, you click choose and you click on the file and it's gonna upload straight away. And there's the file. And then all you need to do to access the file name is actually pretty simple. You click on preview and then you right click it and you copy the link address and you just store it for later when you're ready in a text editor. After we've done that, now we get to add it into our funnel. So I'm gonna go over to my funnels right here under sites. I'm gonna go into my book funnel template. I'm gonna edit the page. And then I'm gonna go up here and in the custom CSS, I'm gonna add a special code. Now I've already pre-prepared this one. I'm gonna leave a copy of this inside of the description for you to use later. But as you can see, I've already put in the link right here to the actual file inside of Go High Level and I've created some CSS code in order to use it. And like I said before, if you go in the description, it'll be right there for you to use. All right, so I just hit save. And now all I need to do to make this work on any text area is go to advanced and type in Carino. And as you can see, it changed it immediately and it's ready to go. It works every single time. So I'm just gonna go through that again. If I go to settings and I go into custom CSS, I have the name, the font family, Carino Sans. I have the link to the actual file. And then I have some CSS code to make it work. I have font family, Carino Sans and important. I have the font weight, which is normal in this case, because I'm using the normal font. And the font style is also normal. I would be using bold if it was bold. And then I have the Carino right here to use inside of it. And all I need to do, like I said before, is just choose a text area, go to advanced and type in the name right here and it immediately changes it. And it will automatically use things like italics. And that's all there is to it to add custom fonts into your Go High Level Funnel. If you like this tutorial and you wanna see more of it, just like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.